and he was one of a kind. It may sound like a lofty thing to say on VH1, but basically, you know, what are we doing on this planet? I, mean, I think through the Beatle experience that we'd had, we'd grown so many years within a short period of time. I'd experienced so many things, I'd met so many people, but I realized there was nothing actually that was giving me a buzz anymore. I, I, was, I wanted something better. I, mean, I remember thinking, I'd love to meet somebody who will really impress me. I don't mean because somebody like, you know, Burt Lancaster, because he was in a movie. Right. I mean, I met Burt Lancaster, and he impressed me on that level, but I meant somebody who could really impress me. And that's when I met Ravi, which was funny, because he's this little fella <laughs> with an obscure instrument from our point of view, and yet it led me into such depth. And um, I think that was that's the most important thing. It still is for me. You know, I get confused when I look around at the world and I see everybody's running around. And, you know, as Bob Dylan said, he not busy being born, is busy dying. And yet nobody's trying to figure out what's the cause of death and what happens when you die. I mean, that to me is the only thing really that's of any importance. The rest is all secondary. Do you think pop musicians are afraid to deal with subjects that are so big, or it just doesn't occur to them, or do people think, oh, it's not commercial enough, who wants to talk about life itself? I don't know what anybody else thinks, and, um, you know, as the years have gone by, I seem to have found myself more and more out on a limb, as far as, you know, that kind of thing goes. I mean, even close friends of mine, you know, they maybe don't want to talk about it because they don't understand it, but... I believed in the thing that I read years ago, which I think was in the Bible, it said, knock and the door will be opened. And it's true. If you want to know anything in this life, you just have to knock on the door, whether that be some physically on somebody else's door and ask them a question, or which I was lucky to find is the meditation. Is, you know, it's all within. Because if you think about it, there isn't anything... I mean, in creation, the whole of creation that is perfect. You know, there is nothing that goes wrong with nature. Only what man does, then it goes wrong. But we are made of that thing, the very essence of our being, of every atom. But superimposed on that is through, if I can use the word, the tidal wave of boat that goes through the world. It's cable, you can say that. Yeah. So there's this, we're being barraged by, um, you know, by both. But not only that, the way the world is structured or the way creation is structured, we have duality, which says yes, no, good, bad, loss, gain, birth, death. And it's a this circle that you get trapped in like the Memphis Blues again. And that's the hardest thing to <clears throat> to understand. What is causing um, both of these things? What's causing day and night, good and bad? It's all the, the cause, and this is the effect. So, I mean, we're getting really transcendental here, but well, to no, say that our, our physical being is really um, on a very, very subtle level, it's just like the sap in a tree mm -hmm. is is the sap and it runs throughout all the parts of the tree. Now, it's like that. Our bodies are manifesting into physical bodies, but the cause of the sap is pure consciousness, pure awareness, and that is perfect and perfect knowledge, but we have to tap into that to understand it. And that's really why, to, for me, this record is important, because it's another little key to open up the within for each individual to be able to sit and turn off uh, turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. <laughs>